Hello everyone, this is Michael, KE4EST again here, and we're going to try to do a little review of this ClearClick HD Capture Box. Okay, if you see here, it says right on the box, Capture HD Video from Gaming Systems and HDMI Sources. And down here you can see, No Computer Required. Okay, so let's see what we got here else. It says comes with some software. It's uh, worth $99, but you get it for free. Hmm, okay. And if you can see that, but side of the box says capture video from gaming systems and other HDMI video sources in 720p or 1080p. Easy to use, just hook it up and press record. HDMI cables included. Saves recorded videos on USB flash drive. No computer software or drivers required. Features HDMI pass through and a 3.5 millimeter microphone and port. Uh, quick start guide, warranty and all that. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So let's see. And this here, I got this off Amazon a couple weeks ago and it was. Uh, this is the U.S. price, 90 something dollars, 99, 95, 94, <laughs> something like that. Okay, let's open it up and see what we got here. Check the camera here. Alright, we got, there's the video editor software. Okay, uh, I'm not familiar with this one, I don't think. Master's Edition. Published by NCH Software. Video pad is a trademark of NCH Software. Windows or Mac. Okay. That kind of looks a little bit used, don't it? Alright. Instructions. How to set it up. How to use it. Okay. And few places to go online I guess for more details because this has got some my levels. This is kind of like a little quick start guide. Alright. Now we've got oh, I thought that was the European plug there for a minute. Uh, we've got a power adapter and that is 5 volts 2 amps output. And oh, one of the little bitty plugs. It's not a standard 2.1. Okay. But tip is positive according to this. Okay. Comes with an HDMI cable for pass through. And then here it is. Let's get this box out of the way. And here it is Clear Click HD Capture Box. You see on top here we've got record stop button and also says 720p slash 1080p right here now I'm not sure if that's just advertising for the front or if this button here I have to look that up is somehow you hold it or something to switch modes okay and then on the side here we've got let's say HDMI input and there's where your uh, power adapter plugs in to feed it power and then uh, on off switch and it is a clicky switch it stays in when you press it for on goes out for off then on the back of it here we've got HDMI out and then your USB input this is uh, or not input this is where you would put your flash drive and microphone input here because if you're wanting to say record something off of a, some HDMI source, a receiver, gaming, whatever off your television or something and you want to do some voiceovers with it you can plug in a microphone right here. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay so that that's it. And there's the bottom of it or anybody wants to see the bottom of it so that's pretty much as far as looking at it goes so 
let's try this thing out and see what happens with it and look at some uh, let's look at some shots from this and see how good they turn out okay here we are testing the box this is the Amico Mini HD SE just getting started up here come up pretty good all right here's let's put a little audio to this okay that's good don't want to cause any problems any copyright infringement but there you go recording show let's go look at something else installation satellite installation good signal and flip around look through some other stuff here and not really do anything just trying to do something to put some stuff on the screen here let's see we can go and look at system information and have a look at this like I said this is the Amico Mini HD SE this is not the um, RE uh, which is kind of funny isn't it they go from S to R <laughs> But of course, there was the original Mini. Um, then there's the Mini 2, or like Mini SE Second Edition. And then the RE is reborn because there was so many people wanting the um, wanting it to come back. So anyway, let's see here. Let's go check another channel. Just a little bit more here. Okay. Looks good. Montana PBS. Let's have a look at that. Wow, look at that signal. 84. That's like pegged out for this box. Um, little volume. Some other language. But there you go. Alrighty then. Okay. Well, let's head back to the computer and look up their website. Okay, so there you have it. The uh, Clear Click 720p by 1080p HD capture box. Now, what I did was went to the website here but you know it seems like a really good box uh, for 90 bucks 100 bucks it does exactly what I want it to like I said I didn't try the I didn't try the uh, internal you know mic connector it's got because I use my external digital recorder I like to use that anyway I like to have my audio on a separate channel completely separate file and I can uh, do whatever I want with it and put it in of course I can strip it off of you know if it's recorded over the camera too but um, it's just a little bit easier for me that way but it's a good product it seems work it did exactly what I wanted it to do worked great um, so let's go here I'm at their website uh, www.clearclick.tech and what I did was I went to downloads and support and I went down here to here's the HD capture box and if I click on download users manual here's what we get yep exactly the same thing I had in my hand so nothing different so um, now I did notice when I plugged the flash drive in and moved it over to the computer and looked at it it was it appeared to be when I loaded in a 1080p file um, I don't know if there's a way to set it to 720p unless um, yeah see here it says transfer your recorded videos to your computer simply plug quit scrolling the USB flash drive into your PC or Mac 
open the video files marked encode and underscore 720p 1080p now mine was marked encode and underscore 1080p um, so it appears there might be a way to change it I'll have to maybe fiddle around with that one day um, but 1080p is fine and then here it shows using the software so maybe they're thinking it's going to do it in 1080p and then you can edit it to and output it at 720p but I don't think so it says 1080p or 720p feed it into your editor so I don't know and also I think Ottawa Octane asked me over on the uh, mailbag number two video if you could stream directly from the device to your computer through the USB and not use a flash drive and nope that don't work um, and it doesn't say anything about it working and I couldn't I experimented around with it just a little bit and now I just there was no way I could get it to work that way so you'll have to use a a thumb drive you know flash drive or a external USB hard drive and record that way but I give it two thumbs up um, worked exactly did, like I said did exactly what I wanted to worked great so uh, look forward to uh, now doing some more uh, receiver reviews and setting up some stuff on receivers and free air stuff and whatever um, and everything being nice and clear you see how good it looked so it'll look a lot better than pointing a camera at the TV screen um, but uh, anyway yeah it looks like they got all kinds of stuff here this here looks really in, uh, cool if you got old film you want to take this and view it and save it in uh, this thing here but it looks like they have all kinds of things here and other software and whatever but anyway I highly recommend it it worked for me great product so with that um, I will uh, say 73 to everybody if you like this video hit liked if you don't hit dislike hey you know whatever floats your boat um, hit that subscribe button for more videos and I'll catch you in the next one 73 everybody this is Michael KE4EST